Hi guys, it's Confused Friend Online here. Today's episode of SOMA features heavy topics, including themes of suicide and self-harm. Please stay safe and watch at your own discretion. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of SOMA. This is going to be episode 9. See, I actually checked this time. And it's episode 9. And the last episode was episode 8. Obviously, I know how to count. <laughs> anyway, welcome to another episode of Soma. Um, this is getting deep as hell. Uh, so Simon died pretty soon after his brain scan. Like a month after. Um, do I know? I think he died from just like brand damage in general it, it wasn't very specific i'm not sure anyway we need to go down into the basement where i heard screaming i'm not excited about that but hey that's what we're gonna be doing i guess oh, i forgot to mention this puzzle i'm confused right online uh welcome to the channel i fail so do you want so you don't have to and i'm going to light the ceremonial candle of the day which for so much that is black cherry merlot here we go. I can access only with the dumb bat while they be able to enter the abyss and find the lost ark. I swear to god, I, I went into one of the rooms. Did it not save? I swear to god, I'm gonna cry if it didn't save. I'm gonna cry real tears. Real tears, Soma. You hear that? Real tears. Thank fucking god. Oh my god. I thought I was done for for a while there. Anyway, it's make it's telling us that we need to go down to the basement. Oh, I got to turn off the lights. Got to save power, baby. Cuz that seems to be a consistent issue. Why does the horror music go up when I go in there? It's kind of weird, not gonna lie. What if I turned off the yeah, I turned off the lights in here, too. Okay, so I came from the left side. I haven't explored down here yet, though, so... So, you're not worried that there are other Simons or Catholics? Now I am! Jeez, Simon. Better left alone. The hell? What in the world? I wonder what the real Simon would have thought if you knew about me. What do you mean? You do know about yourself. No, I mean the real Simon. The human Simon. Well, and by your reactions, I'd say you'd be pretty upset. What the hell went on over here? Ugh. Guy Conrad. Let's, let's get in here. Nice out call, buddy. What's this? Master tool safety. Don't look into the emitter. Emitter and battery are hot. Interesting. Oh, those are metal straws. Wait, no, those are Allen wrenches.
got some more. Whoops. These are just like rooms. Okay. Yeah, this is doing nothing for me. Ooh, she's working on a grip strap. Your teddy bear could use some repairs. Toby always breaks. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. Oh, what is this? <gasps> Mujin Reed tested a machine today. It was clearly up. Clearly corrupted by WoW, but more importantly, it was assembled in a seemingly primitive way, like someone had specifically created it for, for WoW to steal it. When activated, the machine mimicked the room and read, and read along with it. At some point, she was scanned and then loaded as a s simulation inside the digital space. The presentation shocked Reed and was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. After dissecting the Vivarium machine that Reed activated, it's clear that the WoW copied my capsule project to construct the scene to hold the Reed simulation. It's actually very similar in its construction, except for one point. Where the capsule houses flat people constructed from model neurographs, the Vivarium's system brain scan lives on. It isn't limited by its content. From the originating brain scan, Reed emerged. The reed inside the vivarium was a perfect copy. I have it. I can save humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living member of Pathos 2. I can't figure out how it worked with the vivarium, but I can replicate the WoW scanning technique using pilots, the pilot seats. They are already prepared with the type of electromagnetic drums needed. It was even easier than I thought. The pilot seats are already set to allow the diffraction and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspect WoW has been using the seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the Mockingbirds. The WoW must have stolen scans from people using the pilot seat and used it as basis for intelligence in the machines. With a surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we have now officially started the ARC project. We are to scan all the people we can find and load them into the capsule. Then we will launch it into space using the space gun. The <laughs> space gun. I love how everything has just all these like official names and then the space gun. <laughs> it's nice to think that something will live on like that. Mark Sarin killed himself after his scan. He has been suggesting everyone should kill themselves as it would somehow allow them to actually get on the Ark. I'm not sure how that would work. It did trigger a lot of arguments among the staff and apparently it's my fault somehow. Stratomir is not happy with me. Hope it will calm down. Richard gave me a set of AI templates I haven't seen before. I folded one of them to make a new friend for Capsule Catherine and her gang of legacies. New way to simulate turbulence makes the weather system so much better. Implemented Reed didn't go well. New try with Reed. Reed won't play nicely with the others. She is too real. Well, damn. Interesting. Why do you 
got your in your drawers, Catherine. These are sticky notes. A fan. Lovely. Nothing. Also lovely. Gonna move your chair a little closer. Ooh, you have a you have a marinette in here. That's lovely. Scissors. Sopsel. Oh, these are tampons. So true. Hairbrush. You have a lot of toys. <laughs> she definitely does. Let her live her life. The physics on this pillow is fun. Oh, these are socks. Clothing, tape, more socks. Nothing I can use. Yeah, there's just more socks under there. All right, well. Interesting room, Catherine. Yes. Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the Ark. As I've explained, this is accomplished by ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. Do not frighten, Catherine. I will do this in secret by folding cyanide salts into chewing gum and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announce completion, I will bite down quickly, causing my own, dis my own demise. When you discover the truth behind my death, no, there's no tragedy to mourn, for I am victorious. I advise you all do the same and join me inside the Ark. Sincerely, Mark Sarang. Dude, there was really no need to kill yourself. UFO? Us? I don't know what that says. Was it? Hold on. Yeah, it doesn't say- it doesn't give me a- Okay... A bunch of equations- I didn't check the back of it, okay. More equations? This is all WoW stuff. Oh, that's the healing station. Damn. Oh, it's a hat. The pillow physics are so fun. Tubes, marker, the suicide notes. Did you know that the human body consists of up to oh. 75 trillion individual cells? They typically don't stay with us till we die. Some live a few days while others live a few years. We're not affected by their short lifespans as they're replaced by new cells which help sustain our bodies. I don't think anyone would argue that we ever lose 
use our persona due to this process. Yet we are clearly in a constant state of transformation. <laughs> then how do we remain the same? A continuous flow of thought and perception keeps an unbroken chain of continuity that we know as our self. Our conscious mind is not the pattern of our brain, but a continuous emergent entity based on that pattern. When Dr. Chun populates the Ark, she is capturing a moment of our existence and placing it inside the digital world. Soon you and your digital you will grow apart due to diverging experiences, but for a tiny window, you are the very same. With unbroken continuity, it will live on. A fulfilling life, no doubt, no less real than the one from which it was plucked. Okay. One hell of a theory you've got there, Mark. Yeah. Pavlina Martineau, The Nature of Identity. Questions about the self. Who are you? What does it mean to be human? Does your body or your surroundings confine or define you? All very difficult ideas to approach without having your questions be invalidated by the practical or mystified by the spiritually minded. In this book, Pavlina Mar Martinu, professor of philosophy at the Charles University in Prague, and guides you through the history of great thinkers and what they have to say about identity. This, this had a, like a, a thing, so I don't want to press it while that that recording was going because I want to hear the full of it. So let's get that. Oh, it's stapler. I thought it was something important, and I already looked at that. There was nothing but like doodles. Bitch. All right, let's read this classified information. It's for me. Mark Sorang, Intelligence Analyst, Theta Pathos 2. Mr. Sorang, the company is very pleased to hear about your success in making the WoW a station-wide presence. We trust you appreciate what, the, what, an, what an unique opportunity this is, and that you will do everything in your power to fully explore and understand this mystery. To do so, you need to ensure that Dr. Johan Ross is able to steer and study the well from, the, from Alpha without outside interference. In case of an emergency, you may direct Julia Dahl at Omnicron to forcefully eliminate any opposition, but please make an effort to avoid extreme actions. The WoW is an important, costly affair, and we hope to follow the steady development without setbacks. Supervisory Board Well, considering that's confidential information, I'm surprised it's not digitally stored in like a save file, like a private, like fire firewalled save file. And it's just just chilling in his thing. What, 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 what does this say? Nanamatsu Board 55 approval. Oh, this is his approval to get the brain scan done. That's what I bet. Okay, there's nothing in here. Boring ass. Damn. Can't believe he started the whole suicide trend. Ooh. Oh wait, this was Catherine. Catherine's room. That is who I was just inside. And I can see Robin Bass. Let's see what you've got going on, Robin. Whoa. Oof. 
That is quite unfortunate. We're all dying anyway. I'm all in. I put my faith in Sarong and the continuity. Fuck. Drawings. Sounds like whoever was here had little ones. <sighs> and the dead husband. Or brother or father. It could be anyone. This is a glasses case. Hairbrush. Same exact one that Catherine had bucket of some sorts. More sticky notes. Oh, she has one of those weird ass um, my mouses. Right, uh, sticky notes. Grip trainers and tampons. That is so sad. Oh, it's a razor blade. Well, I know what this episode is going to be called it's Packed, except censored. So that I don't get fucking assassinated by YouTube. Can I? Thank you. Oh my god, that's a picture. That's one of the pictures we saw of the... Of the inside of the Ark. It's drawings. Of... What she imagines... Would be like in there. Clothing, socks. What? This one won't open. Well, now I want to know what's in there. Does she have a key? Oh, I saw a glint. That's uh, a seagull. Why did I see that glint? That's tape. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that locker open, unfortunately. <sighs> yeah. Nothing in her suit. Nothing that jumps out to me, really. That is unfortunate. One of the first subscribers to Mark's proposed suicide pact. The presence of a healing station concerns me.
and a lack of a light switch as well. Get that part out of the way so that we can get to the get to it easily. Nothing to note. Got it. Hmm. What the hell are you doing? I know it looks bad, but it makes me feel a lot better. Helps me focus. That's I mean, that's the wow you're hooking up to. I need it, okay? I wouldn't have made it this far without it. <sighs> Let's just keep going. <laughs> Catherine's over here like, why the hell are you fondling the machine? <laughs> Bonkers, what was that? No fair. Can I open this without dying? Kind of wild, not gonna lie. Nope. Okay, well. Every time something breaks down, I have a moment. It's pretty good in there, doesn't it? Uh, of course it does. Right. Well. That actually plays perfectly into my cowardice. Um, that's all the time I have allotted for today for recording this whole number. So, thank you everybody for joining me. I'm going to make this outro rather quick because I'm a little bit of a coward, if you hadn't noticed, and this is freaking me out a little bit. So, thank you everybody for joining me on today's video. Uh, this has been Confused Friend Online, playing Soma. Tune in uh, for the next week for either another episode of Soma or something else. It's always a, it's always a prize here. Although we are planning on playing Soma all the way through. That is for certain. That being said, if you look just down below, uh, if you exit this out of full screen, or if you're already at full screen, that's A-OK -okay too. Just below the view, view screen, you will see a couple little buttons there that I think it would be fantastic for you to find out what they do. One of them says subscribe. Yeah, I'm gonna need to press that one. Another one looks like a little thumbs up. I'm gonna need to press that one too. And the little bell icon, that one's optional, but you know, I'd really appreciate it if you, if you did select it. Although, if you don't wanna select it, just know something new pops up every single Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. And if you are feeling particularly generous, 
feel free to take a look at the description of this video down below and scroll down to my Patreon where you can send me money so that I can pay my currently unpaid editor. Alrighty. I'll, I'll let you make those decisions for yourself. A moment of silence for um, everyone, I guess. Including yourself. God bless. <laughs> Alright. I hope you have as much good of a time as I have. And I will see you later. See ya! I'd like to thank everybody for joining me for today's gaming sesh. I love video games, and I love sharing that passion with others even more. None of this YouTube stuff would be possible without you guys. Though we are small in numbers, I figured I'd offer you more ways to support the channel other than just subscribing to my YouTube. My solution? Subscribe to my Patreon. This will help me buy games to expand the scope of entertainment for you to consume here on my channel. It will also help me pay my lovely editor, Chris. The button to sub on my channel is down below, and then below that, in the description, is the link to sub to my Patreon. I hope to meet you there. See ya!